Hey, what's up guys? I just thought it was a beautiful day to get some time outside. So I was hoping you could come with me. It's just raining a lot. Oh, look how nice. Wanted to talk today about empaths and anger. How do we deal with anger? Do any of you have anger issues or possibly had anger issues in your past lives? <sighs> anger is one of those emotions that can come from many different sources. It can stem from fear. It can stem from childhood traumas. It can stem from your education. It can stem from confusion or unsurety about what you're doing and what's going on. It can also come from mental illness or from uh, a neurological condition. So how do we deal with anger? It's important that we first figure out where our anger comes from. I constantly tell you guys I'm going to offer you advice and then instead I tell you to do it yourselves. But that's how it works. That's how we find success. There are thousands of teachers out here on the internet who are trying to convince you that they know how to fix you. And then they'll manipulate you into following them or paying them for that. And then they will somehow cure you by an outside me. The truth of it is, I can't do anything for you. Nothing. I can sit here and blabber on and on and on, but that's all I can do. So instead, I think it's important to teach you how to figure these things out for yourself and not to look to someone like me for the answer. So, anger. Do you instantly react to something and you freak out on people and then you feel bad for it after? That's one. Do you constantly hate yourself from within? Disgusted with yourself? Can't stand the way you look? Is that it? Is that what you're dealing with? Or perhaps are you dealing with anger at a particular person for something that hurt you or harmed you? Is that what you're dealing with? If it is, I can tell you. It's extremely important to identify that first. And then, as I always say, go find some alone time, sit down, meditate on this reason. Meditate on the reason that this happened and start finding all the different angles in your life that have added to this problem. <sighs> Things that have made it worse for you over the years. Just go back in your memory and look at them. Sorry about that. Apparently, my device ran out of storage space. So, identify. And then, if you can, and this is the only way I think around it without going to see a counselor or a psychiatrist or something. I'm not sure how I feel about them. But start talking with yourself. The younger memory of you that's there in that stimulation. And tell them it's okay. Tell them that you're going to remain bitter for the rest of your life if you don't deal and process with these emotions. Tell that younger version of you, it's okay, I forgive you. I forgive you for everything. And then tell the person that harmed you or whatever that particular stimuli is that causes you to feel this anger. Tell it, I accept you. You are a part of this life and this existence as much as I am. And I forgive you and I love you. Because if we can love the things that make us feel hate, then we will finally reach what I believe is truth. Knowing that all things that exist are neither good nor bad, and the fact that they exist is in harmony with all of creation. You see, there is no Sith and there is no Jedi. There is only the Force. And that's the same thing with this life. You can do evil, yes, but there is no evil as it exists in the way we think it does. It's simply the balances between different things that happen, different events, different circumstances. 
It's the balance. And we must be part of this balance in order to fully be realized and actualized as people. You must find balance. And that balance starts with learning to love yourself and everything that you do and everything that you've ever done, loving it by understanding its place and its purpose in your life and in your existence and in your future. And when you can accept things for what they are and learn to love them for the lessons they provide, then you will be actualized, you will be complete, and then you can move forward with figuring everything else out. But until we figure this, we know nothing. And even then, I'm not too sure. I love you very much. Don't be angry. All angry does is makes you forget the truth. The same with only being happy though. It makes you forget the truth. So instead, look to the truth. I hope this helps you, at least in some way. I love you as always. And remember, to be still and to know